What's up, folks? It's your buddy, Fatal Roadie. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a, a rant about video games. The things that annoy me, piss me off, just bother the hell out of me. We'll start off with a very simple one. The ESRB. That's the video game rating system. It started in the 90s with, uh, I believe it was Mortal Kombat that what started it all off. It doesn't work outside of the store. It can, you know, yeah, sure, it'll stop, you know, little Timmy from buying some super bloody game or something that's violent. But if he want, if he's if he's hell bent on trying to play that game, that's not, you know, the, whatever rating system you put up is not going to stop. He's not going to go up to his friend's house and says, "Hey, you want to play?" Psycho Killer 4 and he's going, "Oh no, that's a that's rated M. I can't play that. If he wanted to play that game and he can't buy it or mom and dad won't let him buy it, but his friend has it, he's going to play it." So so it really doesn't doesn't help anything. It and it's it it's it's ridiculous. The rating system, okay, yeah. I can understand where it was coming from. But it doesn't help. It's not going to solve anything. Which goes into my next one is, is video games don't cause violent behavior. Um, I've, I've played, I've played some, some really violent games. Um, I've played Mortal Kombat. I've played Doom. I've played different uh, the the newer versions of Wolfenstein uh Postal I've I've played all these violent games and I'm fine I haven't wreaked havoc with society it's it's ridiculous going to the next one um quick time events they're they're stupid I want I want to play I want to enjoy and play a game. I don't if I I don't want an interactive movie. Yeah, I'm playing a game. There's one game in particular. It's called Until Dawn. It's a good game if it was allowed to be a game. Until Dawn is an interactive movie for all intents and purposes. You walk around, and I do mean walk around, and then every five minutes you have to hit triangle right at the exact point or square right at the exact point or you have to reset and do the whole thing all over again just just let me play the game just let me climb whatever wall that i'm trying to get up or let me do whatever needs to be done without having to be you know uh wait 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 x wait 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 triangle yes i have a ps4 the next one is cross-platform play it's 2017 can i just be able to play whatever version of a game that i have that might be on xbox or pc with my friends and oh wait i can't you have a different console than i do because a lot of the systems anymore i mean they don't uh, they don't, they don't allow you to play across platforms, which is stupid. You'd probably get more sales doing that than you would just, you know, restricting it to only PlayStation users, only Xbox users. It's dumb. The next one is backwards compatibility. Yeah, this <laughs> This one, and I know Xbox ha has backwards compatibility. I don't know how far Xbox, the new one goes. PlayStation 4 is amazing. I have a PS4, but I don't think I can play any backwards games. I have a PS3 that can play PS1 games, but not PS2. And somewhere in one of my boxes, I still have my PS2, and PS2 can play a PS1 game. What the hell? Can't can we just get our shit together and just make a system that'll play the whole set? 
Once again, you'd probably you'd sell more units that way than you would just restricting it to just oh no, you can't play that because it's not it's not the exact system. It's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, it's now I have to have three systems hooked up to my TV just to play my my PlayStation library. It's stupid. Tutorials. Is it possible? I mean, can we just make it possible to opt out of tutorials? Uh, I was playing, a, uh, I think it was Mega Man or some variation of Mega Man. Uh, Ten seconds into the game, it basically paused the game. Not really paused it, but flashed a, a little box and said, Hey, you can do this if you press this button. Okay, well, I kind of figured that out already before you popped up. Now I go another, you know, screen or so over, and it pauses, the same box pops up. Hey, you can do this if you hit this button. I mean, if, if I, if, just have, if, if you need tutorials in the menu, just have a tutorial section. Just have a spot say, hey, dumbass, if you don't know how to play, Select right here. We'll run you through. Run you through a quick little sp spot. You learn all the controls. You're good to go. No, no. It, uh, you got to interrupt my gameplay to, to to tell me stuff that I already knew, or probably could have already figured out. I mean, hell, I grew up with the the Nintendo. Actually, I grew up with the Atari 2600s. If that tells you how old I am, but I mean, Atari 2600 was dirt simple. You got you got the little you got the stick and one button. You can't really fuck that up. <laughs> but, okay, to the Nintendo. How many of us actually read the instruction manual? I know I didn't. You know, I played the game and then, hey, if, some, if there was a story in the manual about the game, okay, cool, then I'd open up the game, or open up the game, open up the manual and, and read the story. But nine times out of ten, I already figured out how to hit half the buttons anyway. Just don't pause my gameplay just to tell me something that is simple. Now, you know, if it's a, a weapon that I have to pick out in the in the sub in in the you know, you have to hit start or select whatever get whatever system you have you know to bring up your menu for your weapons and stuff. If it's something special. Put it in the notes for the weapon, because half the times it'll tell you, like, you know, uh, remote control missile. Press such and such to fire, then use the analog stick to steer it. Okay, cool. Don't wait until I'm getting ready to fire the damn weapon. Pop up a little box and say, hey, dipshit, if you haven't figured this out. Dude! I touched on this a little bit in early, earlier in the video. As parent groups and parents, some, I can't say all of them, that think that, that video games cause violence. They don't. All, I mean, like I, I mentioned, I played some pretty graphic games. Most of my friends in high school played the same games. Video games do not cause violence. And if parents are worried about it, to at least today's parents just do what your parents did what my parents did they let me know they said you know I mean they didn't come out flat out directly and say it but I knew this was was wasn't real I knew this was a game I knew this was a fantasy situation it is not real I'm not going to sit there and do the exact same thing that I saw on a video game in real life one, why? Because I'm fucking smart. And two, my parents gave a shit. As I'm sure ha half of our parents did. You know, it's 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 ridiculous. It's like, you know, well, we're just going to put little Timmy in front of the TV and just let him have at it and just hope for the best. We're just, you know, hope he's going to figure this out all by himself. It's like with Beavis and Butthead, you know, some kids set fire to his house because I saw Beavis and Butthead do it okay well, where's the parents you know sitting there telling them this is a cartoon little Timmy you don't this is not what you do in real life simple problem solved can I please get 
a fighting game or any or any game really that doesn't have overly complicated controls like the old uh like the old Mortal Kombat, in order to do the, the, the fatality moves, you have to hit up, down, right, right, B, A, 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 B, wiggle your left ear, push on your nose twice, twitch your left eyebrow just a hair in order to do a finisher. It's like I, when, when I played Street Fighter, it was simple. It's just one fluid movement down down and whatever like if i'm going to to the right down down right right you know the punch button or the kick button depending on what it was i was doing so, okay it, that was a little more involved but it was simple yeah i i i think i may have gotten and all, all the time i've played mortal Kombat, i may have gotten one finisher and i think i was basically because i was just button mashing <laughs> I, I I think that's how how they program the finishers. It's like oh hell, they're just going to start smashing buttons on the controller. So that that's what we're going to do. That's going to do it for this rant about video games. Leave a comment down below what you think. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.